In the American exotic pet trade, foxes are popular and are often sought after. While red foxes are commonly available and are relatively inexpensive, Arctic foxes are a bit more unusual. This iconic species is fairly recognizable with its gorgeous snowy white coat that sadly makes them desirable for fur traders. While these small foxes might appeal to people's sense of beauty, these canids are also adapted to living in challenging, frigid climates. Could such a tough little fox adapt to life as a household pet? Arctic foxes are actually somewhat common pets relative to other non-mainstream exotic pets. Like red foxes, their domesticated populations likely descend from the fur trade, and unfortunately, they've originated from a small number of founders, resulting in health problems from inbreeding. This might be the reason Arctic foxes have a short lifespan in captivity, with their life expectancy reaching around 11 years. In the wild, Arctic foxes roam over vast stretches of tundra and live in communities comprised of their family units. They opportunistically hunt and scavenge small animals, insects, fish, berries, and even seals, depending on a region they live in. They have been farmed for their fur since 1965, in addition to being trapped in the wild, and they are sometimes shot by humans to protect their sheep flocks. As far as legality, Arctic foxes, being native to parts of North America, are illegal to own as pets in most states, along with the red and gray fox. Although they are not native to parts of the mainland United States, to find out if they are legal in your area, you'd need to call your state's fish and game department. Although it sometimes can be the case that even they aren't sure. Be sure you know the difference between a white red fox and an arctic fox. Arctic foxes, compared to red foxes, have smaller ears, shorter legs, and a stockier body with thick fur. In the late spring, they change their coat color from light to darker colors, depending on their color morph. If you're going to buy an arctic fox, they are a tad more expensive than red foxes, but usually cost less than fennec and other exotic foxes. Their price is often around or under a thousand dollars. However, caging and specialty veterinary care may cost a lot more, especially when the fox gets older. If arctic foxes are legal in your area, then how would you care for one successfully? Like red foxes, arctics, being true foxes, unfortunately have smelly urine, and they may not litter train 100%. Therefore, most people would find them offensive as indoor pets. This is not to say that there aren't owners that keep their foxes exclusively as house pets, and even let them free roam in their house like a dog. It just ultimately depends on what you are willing to tolerate. Most owners will opt to house their foxes partially or permanently in outdoor enclosures. As in its name, the Arctic fox will need a climate-controlled place to retreat to in hot summer temperatures, as they can easily overheat. So this fox might not be the ideal choice for people in warm climates. Arctic foxes are agile animals, and their enclosures should prevent them from digging or climbing out. Many foxes enjoy sandboxes to dig and bury items in, and a furnishing in their cage could include elevated platforms and shrubbery. Like other animals, despite their cold tolerance, they should have a comfortable shelter to retreat to. As far as temperament, foxes can vary tremendously. Those with strict expectations who would find an untamed animal unpleasant may want to steer clear of this species. Some arctics are quite tame, depending on the circumstances, and form tight bonds with their humans and even their pets, such as dogs and other foxes. Others have been skittish and prone to biting. The chances of this will increase if the fox is not hand-raised by you. The disposition of your fox will depend on how well socialized it is, as well as its genetics. Do not expect the fox to behave in a similar way to other arctics that you've seen. We tend to see the best behaved animals in videos and in zoo presentations. Regardless of how sociable the fox is, they are all active animals that need an outlet for their energy. Despite appearances, they are not dogs and are more comparable to ferrets and other high-strung animals. They can be destructive in the house and may not be compatible in places where torn furniture and bite marks on walls are going to be a problem. To have a better chance at finding an even-tempered fox, talk to the breeder about the kid's parents. 
For owners with the right enclosure or tolerance to animal smells in their home, the Arctic Fox can make a decent pet. The right to own such animals exists in a limited number of states, so it is especially important to take on fox ownership responsibly.